Sometimes we need a little saxophone in our lives. I watched the basketball finals final game last night and they did the national anthem and it was um an army uh, a green beret I don't know I don't know what branch of service he was in but he was a veteran or a, a serviceman and he was playing a saxophone he played the national anthem and I I had never heard the national anthem played with a saxophone sometimes you just need a little saxophone my sister Patty played saxophone. I played French horn in band. So it's just been one of those mornings, y'all. I'm sorry I'm a little late. I tried to get on here at 11, but my printer was acting up and it was doing weird things, just weird things. And it was making a noise and I couldn't come on. And then I couldn't get on the Wi-Fi and I couldn't even do it without the Wi-Fi. So Justin calls and says, well, mom, what's going on? And, and I said, I don't know. He says, when in doubt, reboot. So if you're having problems with your phone or anything, just reboot it. Just turn it off and turn it back on again. And it can make a big difference. I wanted to print out the missions for this week for zone two so I could go over them with you because Here's the most important part of flying. We've got our routines in place, as the song said. But we don't want to let those routines fall by the wayside while we're doing other things like take care of our paper clutter. Do you hear me? Don't let the routines fall by the wayside while you're getting, these, getting rid of paper clutter. Now, have you come up with a way to eliminate the paper clutter? Do you have a, um, a shredder? Do you have a fire pit where you can burn some? You, maybe you need a burn permit in some areas. We had, we've had some, uh, some brush fires around here, so, but we had rain yesterday, so that's probably stopped that from being a problem. But you need a burn permit and check with your local fire department and the, Let's get started getting rid of this clutter. Now, today's mission for the kitchen, and you can set your timer. I'll set a timer for three minutes. I want you to get a silver rag and a purple rag. Or if you don't have a purple rag, just two silver rags will work, and they're on half price until tomorrow, and then they're no longer on half price. So get them while we have them. Half price on silver rags. And we're going to wipe down the fronts of our cabinets. Now, this doesn't take long. You need a damp one. You don't even need soap on it, y'all. You don't even need soap on it. Just wipe it down with a silver rag and then dry it off if it's a wooden cabinet. And you're going to see a big difference here. So I'm setting the timer for three minutes. Get your rags out and let's wipe down our kitchen cabinets while we're... We're talking about paper clutter. You can listen to me while you're doing that. Now, some of you have paper clutter hiding in lots of places. Now, let me go over these weird places you're stashing stuff. Somebody wrote in yesterday that they bought, uh, they had a, a stool, a, a hassock that had an opening, and that's where she stashed all her paper clutter. I have known people that have put their paper clutter in the oven and forgot about it and preheated their oven for cookies. What does that do? That makes a big mess. And then there are other people that throw their paper clutter in the shower in, in a bathroom where they don't use it often. Yep, what happens there? Something springs a leak and all your paper clutter is ruined, which is not a bad thing because you have to get rid of it all anyway. 
So we hide our paper clutter in lots of places. This morning, my printer's not working. I can't figure out why my printer's not working. It's driving me nuts because I wanted to print up all the missions for today, uh, for, for this week, for the kitchen. So I would have them here and I could get you started on those in the beginning. Another good thing to do before we get started working on our paper clutter is to make sure you're dressed to lace up shoes. Yes, lace up shoes. Not just sandals, not flip flops, not barefoot. I want shoes on your feet that you can't easily take off. I have on boots and my boots, they're ankle boots and they zip up. I can't kick them off without having to bend over and unzip them. So I have on shoes that I can't kick off easily because when we kick them off, that stops us from doing a lot of things. It stops us from taking the trash out. It stops us from, um, it stops us from going up and down the steps. If you don't have on your shoes, you can't go up and down stairs. It's dangerous. It stops us from um, doing lots of things when we don't have our shoes on. If the baby runs out the front door and starts running down the driveway for, toward the road, and we've gotten this testimonial before, if you've got your lace-up shoes, even if you don't have your lace-up shoes on, you're running on the rocks barefoot. It's better to have your lace-up shoes on. And lace-up shoes do one more thing. They help the circulation. They compress your feet in your shoes so that blood doesn't pool there. If you're older or you have diabetic problems or heart issues, having those shoes on is compression for your feet. Try going barefoot and see how big your ankles are at the end of the day. Having shoes on keeps, that, keeps your feet from swelling. If you're pregnant, it's the same way. I know you don't feel like you can fit in those shoes, but if you put those shoes on first thing in the morning when your feet are, are at their normal level, You'll be surprised at how they'll be at the end. But we don't go barefoot anymore, Teresa. We don't do that anymore. So let's stop with our kitchen. That'll come around again. And let's start dealing with the paper clutter. Do you have a huge pile of paper on your desk? Now, here's the mission we're going to do for today. I want you to get three boxes. And I want you to label these three boxes. If you have a desk, left, right, and center. Left, right, and center. Now you might not be able to do it now, so just listen to me and pay attention. We're going to clean off our desk. And here's how we're going to do it. We're going to take everything that's on the left side of our desk and we're going to pull it off and put it in the box labeled left. Because you know what's there. If you're a piler, you know that it's in this left pile somewhere. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull everything off the right side of your desk and put it in the box labeled right. Then you're going to pull everything off the center of your desk and then put it in the center and stick it under your desk. Now, I want you to look at this clean, flat surface. I want you to take your silver rag and wipe down this surface and get it all clean or your feather duster, but it may need to be damp to get all the dust and stuff off. And we're going to put things back. Now, you got, do you have other things that need to go on your desk, like a pencil holder? I have a beautiful pencil holder that is just a cup. It's a cup that I had made from a picture that I, I made from my garden. It's a double rosebud. And so this is, I have a pencil, I have a letter opener that my mother-in-law carved, which means a lot to me. I have a feather duster. There's a tiny little feather duster that somebody sent me that's a pen. So you see, I have something I like and love that goes on my desk that holds my pencils. That's not really my desk, but this is my, my table. Then we have, um, I want you to put back the things that belong on your desk. Your stapler, you know, some people have, like to have a red stapler. And it just other things, maybe it's a mat that you put on your desk. 
Well, put, tear it off the sheet that's their scribble sheet and have a clean mat. And I want you to have this clean, flat surface because that's going to empower you to not mess it up again. And when you put things you love on your desk, it will keep you um, from, from uh, don't get sidetracked with the pens and pencils. We're not doing pens and pencils today. We're cleaning off the surface of our desk. Next, what I want you to do is I want you to, in the box that's labeled left, I want you to pick up this much. That's, that's four inches, maybe three inches. And then I want, on this clean surface, I want you to have a trash can beside you and a recycle bin, well, trash can and recycle bin and then I want you to have a little box that has things that are your office in a bag put your office in a bag on your desk and put the things you need to keep in that box so only handle it once make you a sign that says Ohio on it write it on your pad on your desk so that you see Ohio Make a pretty, put it in a frame and set it on your desk. Ohio, only handle it once. And then we're going to go through this paper on your desk. Six inches at a time, four, five inches at a time, just this much. And it's trash. It can be recycled or burned. It, it can be um, filed or it has to be paid. So if it's an important paper that needs to be filed and not everything is an important paper. And today's Ask Fly Lady question and today's musing is all about those things. So go check out, check your email. And we're gonna go through these papers. Listen to a book, on uh, an audio book I mean, I've read some good ones in this past week. Set your timer. Do five, five minutes at a time going through and do it fast and don't get all hung up. Don't get hung up and we're not going to get sidetracked. Now you may want to, before you get started, put something in the crock pot for dinner. Something in the crock pot for dinner. I think it's going to be spaghetti at our house. Robert needs stuff that has a lot of flavor in it right now because he's got this sinus infection and everything's going on. And he won't go to the doctor. He said, they're going to try to give me antibiotics. I don't need antibiotics. I just need two more days. Now, this paper clutter when you get your desk clear, when you get your desk clear and you, you get everything put away, then you can tackle a drawer. But we're doing surface clutter right now. You know how we used to have in boxes and out boxes? I'm putting the sauce, the spaghetti sauce in the crock pot. I'm putting the sauce in the crock pot, not the spaghetti not the pasta. Although you can do macaroni and cheese in a crock pot. My daughter-in-law does that all the time. Now, got all kinds of things popping up on my phone. Taco Tuesday, that's a good thing to have. Know what's for dinner before you get started on any of this because that's going to keep you from ordering pizza again, you know? So paper clutter, like I told you yesterday, perfectionism is what causes our paper clutter to pile up. It's what causes us, causes it to pile up. Now, we've got to um, let go of our perfectionism. And what we're doing, and then we've got to set in place a system. Now, Scott Adams loves systems. 
Fly Lady is full of systems. We've got to set up a system that protects us from this stuff piling up again. So the minute your mail comes in, deal with it. You hear me? Process it. Mail has to be processed. So you put the newspapers and stuff where the newspapers go. Uh, as soon as you read them, we have a reading place and Robert goes to the newspaper and the magazines and then they go into recycling. And then <clears throat> any bills that you open up, they've always got some kind of advertisement in them. So take the bill out and the envelope that goes with it and put that in your office in a bag because that's where you keep things to get paid. And the other things that come in the mail may be greeting cards, different things. Open them up, throw the envelope away, and put your cards where you like. I have a hat box that I like to put my greeting cards in. It's like a little memorabilia hat box. It's, a, it's, it's made of wood, I think. And... <clears throat> I put these things in there because one day I'm going to open up the hat box and remember all these things that have been pushed out of my memory, but I can bring them back by opening up this little, it's like a happiness file. And it will make us, um, it gives us a place to put things. Now, yesterday you went around your house and you looked at all the hot spots that you had in your house that were paper clutter and we wrote them down on a list you know today we attacked our desk tomorrow who knows what we're going to deal with tomorrow we got piles of paper everywhere so let's process the paper that was on our desk that's today's assignment process the paper that's on our desk in in those boxes and then Put things where they belong and you will have cleaned off the top of your desk. We can also clean out a drawer, but you know, when we put things in a drawer, it, it we never look at it again. If it's out of sight, it's out of, out of mind. So we've got to keep it in sight for us to deal with. So if you have to put your bills on a bulldog clip and put it on the refrigerator, these are things that will remind you when you see it every day it's going to remind you i want you to have a good day getting rid of paper clutter but make sure dinner's in the crock pot or you know what's for dinner so that you can get that done and out of the way so that you can focus on getting rid of this paper clutter and if you're sitting at work and watching this you got paper clutter too you got a lot of paper clutter so you deal with the stuff that's on your desk. I mean, Robert is a piler. He likes to put piles on his desk and he knows where things are. Some One time he had a, a secretary that went in and, and reorganized his desk. And sh she organized things according to size, which is the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. So she put the big things on the bottom and then she just went up to little things. It don't work that way. That's not working. It just so let's prop ninety five percent. I have a friend, um, Rita Davenport, and yes, she is a friend. I could call her up if I wanted to, but she was my mentor in in the eighties. She had an infomercial, and she said one time she went on vacation for two weeks. And when she got back, her desk was piled full of mail. I mean, piled full of mail. And when, when she started to look at it, she just got overwhelmed. So she put it all in a black plastic bag, a trash bag, set it over on the credenza behind her desk, and then she started calling people at the office to see what she'd missed. So she got updated on everything going on. 
And then that night, the maid service came in and threw that bag away. And she was like, oh, what am I going to do? And she only missed one check that had been sent to her and two RSVPs to weddings, you know? <laughs> there you have it. 95% of what was in that big bag of, of junk, of mail, was trash. Trash. When you deal with it every day coming in the house, it has to earn the right to come in the house. One fly baby put her shredder in her garage where she pulls her car in. And she would sit and go through the mail that's in her hot little hands before she ever got out of the car. And when she got out of the car, she would put the trash mail into the shredder right then. She would have the good mail that needed to go in her office in a bag, things that bills that needed to be paid. That would be, um, that would be in her hand and she'd put it in her office in a bag, which she probably had with her. And there you have it. It's all, she's dealt with the mail before she ever got in the house. We can do this. We set up a system for dealing with the mail. Whatever I'm doing when Robert comes in with the mail, I process it right then. It takes 30 seconds. 30 seconds, folks. 30 seconds. What's your excuse? I don't have time. You got 30 seconds. You can stop what you're doing and deal with it. It doesn't take long. Robert takes our mail now. As soon as we get a bill and he goes downstairs, writes a check for it, puts it out in the outgoing mail. Watch somebody that's born organized. Watch how they deal with things. So if you don't have a fire pit, you can build one with some concrete blocks and some gravel in the bottom and you can build a fire pit there's lots of on pinterest you do you can do find a video on youtube on how to how to build a fire pit you can buy one you can burn these papers if you're afraid somebody's going to steal your identity and you can make some memories with some roasting marshmallows roasting hot dogs you can have a fun day. Well, y'all, we got stuff to do. Can't talk all day long. I'm going to play one more song for you, and we're going to close this out. Let me go back. And remember... Take it slow and steady, and that's what I'm going to play for you. Slow and steady. I don't want you to crash and burn, and that's what we do a lot of times dealing with paper clutter. We crash and burn because it makes... We just think we have to spend all day doing it, and we don't. A lot... This is plan and play day. So play for about an hour dealing with this paper clutter, and don't do much more than that. You hear me? I'll see you tomorrow. Take it slow and steady. My thing already messed up. When I talk too long. Here we go. Take it slow.
that song was sung by Megan. Um, she's gotten married, so I don't know her last name, but I think it was Megan Walker. It's a beautiful song, and it it does make me cry. Music touches my heart. I can't help it. But what it touches my heart for is because we've crashed and burned so many times that sometimes we don't know how to get up from it. But slow and steady sets the pace for us. If we will just take it slow and steady, we will learn to fly. Okay, folks. We got stuff to do. Let's go get it done. I love you all. See you later.